for the past couple of weeks, we've been focusing not so much on the alleged affair, but more on who knew what, when, and the payout of the hush money following the money, as it were. And tonight, new documents obtained exclusively by this broadcast suggest a deeper link between the Trump organization and efforts to ensure that Stephanie Clifford, a.k.a. Stormy Daniels, uh, Stephanie Clifford is her real name, keeps quiet about it. Her alleged affair with Donald Trump, and for the first time, evidence that another one of Trump's attorneys, besides his personal lawyer, Michael Cohen, is involved in the ongoing legal battle. Now, this is one of the documents. Take a look. It's a demand for arbitration filed in California by an attorney who works for a Donald Trump company. She lists her address as One Trump National Drive, Rancho pa Palos Verdes, California. It's signed by an attorney named Jill A. Martin. Now, that address also happens to be the address of the Trump National Golf Course, not far from Los Angeles. There's not much room for doubt that Ms. Martin has been an employee for Donald Trump. This is her LinkedIn page, which identifies her as a vice president and assistant general counsel for the Trump Organization. And here's her California State Bar page, also listing her address as the Trump National Golf Club. Now, as far as the arbitration goes, in a declaration labeled highly confidential, it names Peggy Peterson, a pseudonym for Stormy Daniels, as the respondent. It lists ECLLC as the party seeking relief. And those initials stand for Essential Consultants, the company created by Trump lawyer Michael Cohen to funnel a cash payment of $130,000 to Ms. Daniels in return for her promise to keep quiet about the reported affair which Ms. Daniels claims began in 2006 and lasted through 2007. Now, as more and more comes out about the story, Mr. Cohen has continued to deny the affair ever happened, but has acknowledged the payment, saying just last month, quote, in a private transaction in 2016, I used my own personal funds to facilitate a payment of $130,000 to Ms. Stephanie Clifford. Neither the Trump organization nor the Trump campaign was party to the transaction and neither reimburse me for the payment, either directly or indirectly. The Trump Organization may not have been a party to that transaction, but it's pretty clear one of its attorneys is involved in this case, and it's certainly not the first time she's defended Donald Trump. In fact, here she is in October 2016, just after that Access Hollywood tape surfaced, appearing on CNN's Aaron Burnett out front. None of us would ever imagine he would do something like this. It's just completely inconsistent with his character and our own personal experiences. So because of that, I believe him when he says he didn't do anything inappropriate with women. So back to the arbitration case, Ms. Martin did win a temporary restraining order because the non-disclosure agreement Stormy Daniels signed said an action could be brought against her, quote, without any advance notice. Now, that's an assertion that Ms. Daniels' current attorney, Michael Avenatti, strongly disputes. We're going to talk to him in a moment. We've just received a statement from Ms. Martin. Here's the statement she gave us on behalf of the Trump Organization. Quote, as previously reported, Lawrence Rosen, a New York attorney, is representing EC LLC in the arbitration. The Trump Organization is not representing anyone, and with the exception of one of its California-based attorneys in her individual capacity, facilitating the initial filing pending the pro-hack admission of Mr. Rosen, the company has had no involvement in the matter. Now, we also should note that we've reached out to Michael Cohen, have not yet heard back from him. 